Okay, hello everyone. I'm not doing a selfie. I'm uh, uh, in the bathroom here. Uh, upstairs in my media center is this kind of bathroom area that no one ever uses. Plus, it's only about 10 in the morning and not a lot of kids come early in the morning because they sleep. They're college students. So I just thought I would show you. So you see we have soap, automatic faucet, Oh, my hand's wet. What do I do? Oh, wait, is there paper towel? Oh, there's a plant. Is there paper towel? There's no. <laughs> so there's no paper towel ever in Japanese uh, uh, bathrooms, n no matter where you go. So you have to have like a hand towel. This, this one happens to have a sumo wrestler on it. I'll see if I can show you that real quick. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, you have to keep one of those, like, you know, ready in your pocket to dry your hands after you use the restroom. And I just thought I would show you really quick. Uh, this one has standard Western toilet, not a wash lead, anything special. Standard Western, but they still have the option of the squat. So, you know, this is a reality that you'll have to deal with when you come to Japan, especially if you're a woman. I hate to say that, guys, obviously, we can use a urinal uh, half the time or whatever. I don't know what the percentage is. I don't you know, get into those semantics. But um, uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, you just have to learn how to use a squat and, you know, figure it out. Hopefully you're not drunk one night, you know, in a pub or something. But uh, some of my schools, some of my elementary um, schools, etc., because they're very, very easy to clean a squat. Um, they still install them in a lot of schools. Um, hopefully the staff restroom will have a Western style toilet, but for instance, at my ju main junior high, it didn't. The only Western style toilet in the whole school was the handicapped toilet. So, all right, I'm off to go teach some more. A little short vlog. See ya.